nothing. Feels feels like uh, the end times of uh, the Roman Empire. Exactly. That is the end of our Urban Decay. We are into Uplifting Gold. We are in our Uplifting Gold section. We have a great Uplifting Gold today. Lots of things to be happy and grateful for. No need to get depressed and down. I don't think this was a very depressing episode. Uh, Me neither. I'd feel bad for a couple people's kids and a couple lunatic moms and yeah. a dumb kid lighting a blunt, but this wasn't one of our worst. This wasn't like a... And then the fat twin bikers... That was like a random thing that made no sense. Yeah, that had no correlation to us at all. Well, me at least. Yeah, um, neither of us. Yeah. So that's weird. Uh, first is the Elon uh, Twitter thread. Yeah. This um, is pretty good. I mean, Elon is just firing people over Twitter. That's the yeah. uplifting goal. These people have little snarky. They're used to some weird sort of uh, tech thing where everyone can speak out and everyone's voice matters, and they're just openly dissenting. Yeah. And then Elon's firing them. And here's what happened. Elon tweeted... By the way, I'd like to apologize for Twitter being super slow in many countries. App is in many countries. App is doing a thousand greater than a thousand poorly batched RPCs just to render a home timeline, meaning it's working very hard just to show you basically the app. And then some guy Eric says, "I have spent six years working on Twitter for Android and can say this is wrong." And then some other idiots chime in, um, and then Eric to his many followers goes, "Maybe he should ask questions privately, maybe using Slack or email." goes like this, like a little snarky employee, like you're, yeah. you're directly uh, alluding to your boss. And then some guy replies, with this kind of attitude, you probably don't want this guy on your team. And then Elon just goes, he's fired. <laughs> so I love that. Yeah, I, me too. I love the comeuppance. These people are like in bizarro world where they thought they're living in this in this fake uh, timeline. And then it's like, no, this is how a real boss works. This is how yeah. a real job. This is how a job in 1980 would be. This company needs to make money. Yeah. We're spending all the money on lunch. There was another one where, yeah, he said, uh, oh, we Twitter employees, it costs more. We have more staffers working in the cafeteria than people who eat the lunches, and it's cost us this and that. And then someone chimes in and goes, this is false. I'm in charge of the the eating program, blah, blah, blah. And Elon Musk goes, we spent $13 million on food. I can see it in our line item report. Yeah, which is like $400 a meal yeah. or something stupid. And our, and our occupancy at the office was 10 to 15% because we know because the badge scans. So it can't possibly be this. And it's like the woman who's in charge of it is telling him how it's better. And he's like, no, I have the numbers. Fired as and, well. Uh, she got, uh, yeah, she put into a cannon and fired off into the ocean. Yep. Um, speaking of food, next, the groundhog eats the farmer's vegetables on camera. Yeah. Th in front of their trail cam. Yeah, this is menacing. The farmer's trying to, the guy's just eating it right in front of the trail cam. Ripe tomato, and he's staring into it. <laughs> he's eating everything he got. This is the start he, of a he, villain timeline. He brings his friend. And they all just eat and look directly into your eyes while they eat your food. Yep. Uh, next, the bear eats at the grocery store. It's kind of similar. A lot of the uplifting stuff this week is animals eating human foods. Which I love. Me too. Uh, um, and this is in Lake Tahoe. A bear has been coming to the 7-Eleven in Lake Tahoe to get snacks for years. Sometimes the doors are barricaded to stop him from entering. But most of the time, he comes in whenever he wants. People on social media nicknamed him Boo, the bear, who loves for the Dunkaroos. in the movie Open Season. So he can take whatever he wants and go out. So can we. I like this guy. Me too. He's like a... And he likes Reese's. He knows what he likes. He likes Reese's. 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 A PC of a Reese. Yep, one uh, PC. Um, uh, <laughs> that laugh? Uh, all right, next, let's see. The kid's going across the wire to school. Let's go to the storks. All right, so let's do the we storks. We just did all the animals. This, this is, is nice. Yeah, two storks celebrating their first egg. Yeah. So the lady lays an egg. They see it. They go, oh, we did it. What do we got here? And then they start cheering. Yeah. <laughs> Look how natural that is. A male and a woman come together, bird. The Make eggs baby healthy. eggs healthy and they celebrate. Yep. That's they celebrate the life. That's pretty good. Yep. Uh, next, the kid goes across the wire to school, going on wires. Are they saying Spanish? Yeah, I think so. You know. Yeah, they are speaking Spanish. This is uplifting gold. But I don't want to get negative, and I, I'm, I'm over the days where I make uplifting gold actually negative. 
But it's 2022. You couldn't build a bridge by now? I think I cracked it. All the men in this village are here illegally, and nobody's there to build a bridge anymore. <laughs> and so the girl just goes to school over a little paracord thing. Yeah, all the eligible, uh, like capable men who would have fixed that society have already left for America. They already came up through the southern border, and they're waiting on Chuck Schumer to give them amnesty here. And then we need workers. Yeah. While this girl has to cross a bridge every or a bridgeless river every day. Yeah, no bridge. All the men are here. That's a great point. Um, I actually saw a meme the other day. This might be too dark, but it was like uh, it was like a colonized place in Africa mm -hmm. where Europeans had built a bridge, and the bridge crumbled after many many years. Colonialism was a while ago. They built a bridge, and these people were crossing that broken bridge with a rope. So they couldn't so same fix the principle. They couldn't fix the bridge. Couldn't and fix it's the like, bridge. Guys. But colonialism is a problem. Yeah. No one's got bridges or water or anything or electricity. Yeah. Colonialism is a problem. I'll take colonialism if I need to cross a river. Next, this guy is the hope of uh, the future. Uh, guy shows girl his Costco card at the baseball game. <laughs> caught on camera. <laughs> she goes, wow. Wow. Costco card. Costco card. Wow. Hey, that's nice. He that, can provide. That's an exclusive club, guys. Rapway goes to Costco. I joined. It's actually funny. I joined Costco this weekend. Yeah. So, um, and they do a great job of giving you all the food you could eat, but also all the sauces you would want. Like Rapway got a giant Caesar salad that can feed him for seven days, but it has like five tubs of Caesar in it. Yeah. The dressing. Which is so important. It's Sauce, like, yeah, so important. Costco is like customer first, very customer first like that. And uh, their frozen foods are top yeah. notch. So I love Costco. I'm a Costco guy. I think they had a shitty mask policy for a really long time, though. Mm. But uh, we're past that, and I they didn't lose me. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, last clip, guy gets first U.S. paycheck. This was the same guy who did the Halloween and was really happy, the Cuban immigrant, who was happy about Halloween a couple weeks ago. No. Remember that? No. Well, it was in the show. All right. Should I play it now? Yeah. Or do I need to remember and go back to it? Do you remember? It? No, I don't. What did he, he goes, do? Oh, this is so great. This is so nice. I wish it was like this every day. Oh, everyone's so celebrating. I love seeing the neighborhood like this. And he was giving candy out to the kids. I don't remember this at all. It was this guy. All right. All right. You don't watch the podcast. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Grave. 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 Oh, my God. Mentira. Showing his address on the internet. Mm. Look at the taxes. I prefer this than Fidel Castro. Fidel Castro me took more. The communism took more. You know what? This is my first check for hours. That you feel that every hour of work is que, te, que cada hora de trabajo tiene una importancia en tu vida y que, y que se lucha, que sabes que puedes luchar por algo. Es un sentimiento que no, sé, no es comparable con nada. Porque nunca lo tuve en mi país. En Cuba no lo hay. Y aquí no tengo la prueba. That's nice. I feel like every hour was important. He's a legal immigrant. Good for him. Yeah. We I need like 50 that. million more of those. Yeah. Sign him up. Yikes. 